Hello friends. This video is going to be a little different than my normal language videos. And it's just something I wanted to share with the world because I'm a naturally curious fellow. I ask a lot of questions and I seek a lot of closures. And I found some closure on what is known as my personal certification of birth i.e. my birth certificate and I'm going to go through the uh, what I found in this video step by step I just pulled out my birth certificate which is a copy I don't have the original but it had a barcode on it and on my cell phone I have a barcode scanner and I scanned it and then I just follow the trail of the evidence from there and you can watch this video and see what I share, the information that I found about my own certification of birth. Hope you enjoy it. Here is my certification of birth from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Department of Health Vital Records. In other words, from a pronoun, adverb, verb, pronoun, adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. <laughs> Anyhow, I was adopted and I, I don't have my original certification of birth. This one was issued on April 30th, 2015. I draw your attention to this number in the bottom right hand corner, 000175-7520. Which I will enlarge here, 0001757520. That number is also on the back with the barcode. Now I have the barcode, QR code reader application on my cell phone. So, out of curiosity, I scanned that number and I clicked the search function which brought me to this website, sec.report forward slash CIK forward slash the number that was on my birth certificate, 00017575520. SEC, of course, stands for Securities and Exchange Commission. CIK stands for Central Index Key. So Glentech Limited Liability Company dash series CLY, there's my number. Well, <laughs> it's not my number, but it's the number that's on my certification of birth. So here's some information about the company that is connected to this number. It has an IRS number. It has a reporting file number, State of Incorporation, Delaware, fiscal year end, 1231. Date of Edgar filing update, 2018 10 30. Business address, West Hollywood, California. Got a phone number. So here's a document file. Let's find out what that is. Form D, Securities and Exchange Form D. Uh, notice of exempt offering of securities. Issuer's identity. This is the name of the issuer. Now here is the number again, 000175-7520. Jurisdiction of Incorporation Organization, Delaware. Year of incorporation within the last five years. Limited liability company. Here we go, then all the information, phone number. Now we have a related person. Last name Nagel, first name Levi, no middle name. Sunset Boulevard. Managing member of Glean Capital LLC. First name Capital LLC, last name Glean. <laughs> 
okay? It's a pooled investment fund, private equity fund. Is the issuer registered as an investment company under the Investment Company Act of 1940? No. Issuer declines to disclose the revenue range, type of filing, new notice. Uh, does the issuer intend this offering to last more than one year? Nope. Pooled investment fund interest. Uh, so, total offering amount, 7,055,000 US dollars. Total amount sold, 7,055,000. No sales commissions. Signature and submission. Issuer, signature, name of signer, title, managing member. And this is uh, my number again. I'm sorry, I keep saying my number. It's not my number, it's Levi's number. It's LLC Glean Tech's number. Uh, yeah, there he is. And just more like a summary of all the information. Uh, the director, it looks like, but well, we have executive officer and director, relationship clarification, manager, he's a manager, pooled investment fund, private equity fund, private equity fund. Revenue range, they, are not inclined to disclose it. They are not inclined to disclose the revenue range of the certification of my birth. So there you go. That is the uh, closure I found on that number that's on my certification of birth. I'm not passing a judgment on it. I'm just showing you what I found pretty easily. And you could probably do the same if you have the same on your certification of birth.